This is the summary section for everything you've learned in this course. The following are the three books that made the biggest difference in my understanding of everything that DevOps is. They are a must read to better understand how to affect the cultural change that we talked about in this course. The books are The Phoenix Project, which identifies the four types of work, Kanban in Action and Kaizen, The Goal, The Theory of Constraints and How to Identify Bottlenecks, and Continuous Delivery, a framework to create CI/CD pipelines. Now let's move on to DevOps Flow. In this course, we coined the phrase DevOps Flow. DevOps Flow is comprised of three components, a learning organization, lean development, and DevOps. These are essential to succeed in obtaining DevOps Flow. Next, the seven tenets of the learning organization, which are continuous learning, an organization's effort to create a continuous learning opportunity for all of its members, Inquiry and Dialogue, an organization's effort in creating a culture of questioning feedback and experimentation. Team Learning, spirit of collaboration and fostering in collaborative skills. Empowerment, encourages feedback and actions to address the gap between the current status and the vision regardless of rank. Embedded Systems, establishes systems to capture and share learning. Systems Connection, Actions to connect the organizations to its internal and external environments. Strategic leadership. The extent in which a leader acts strategically using learning to create change. Let's review what it takes to have an open culture. The main concept is practice Kaizen and always be improving. Go over how to build an open culture guidelines. Use the meeting framework outlined in the course to have Kaizen meetings with clear agendas, time constraints, and measurable outcomes. Now let's move on to Lean and Agile. Creating feedback loops is essential to being able to measure improvement in quality in your organization. Create feedback loops using PDCA, Plan, Do, Check, and Act. Also adapt the following. The concept of failing fast, learning from your outcomes and pivoting to correct course, Use the theory of constraints to identify bottlenecks in your organization's technology and culture. Use Kanban in the four types of work, business projects, IT projects, unplanned work, and changes to see work in progress in your organization and learn how to prioritize across the four types of work by using the percentage system outlined in this section. Start out using Kanban using the ops board designed by adding the following columns, the queue, the third party blocked, and deploy column along with the production fire swim lane. And finally, DevOps and automation. Hopefully your development and management teams embrace TDD to give you a testing framework to build a CI CD pipeline. Remember, automated provisioning and configuration management are critical for building, testing, deploying, and maintaining your product. Use the following CI CD best practices. Enforce infrastructure as code to create immutable infrastructure. Create an extendable framework that works on new projects. Reject as much hard coding of infrastructure as possible. Separate logic and data in configuration management components. Make it manageable with better tools. And finally, modularize all the monitoring and deployment tools to be able to incorporate new tools often. I hope you got a lot out of this course. It's my sincere hope that that helps you and your team get to the next level. I know for a fact that if you apply the above mentioned practices, you will achieve more as an organization. Make the cultural shift to that of a learning organization. Use the lean practices and the proper level of automation to achieve these goals. Please feel free to email me at ryan at infrastruct.net. I will be happy to answer any questions or hear any feedback about the course. I also run a coaching workshop, Space is Limited, where I work one-on-one -on -one with you and guide you on your agile adoption, advise you on culture, and aid in the selection of automation tools specific to your environment, and much more. I wish you all the best on your new DevOps path.